Cast is here with us this morning. Um, when you have somebody who's new to Prescott, their first time, what do you tell them? Oh, you're coming to Prescott? Well, let me tell you about Prescott. What do you tell them? Um, ice cream, water. Like, these guys are jumping in the St. Lawrence on our breaks. That's a pretty cool thing. To mm -hmm. have 10 minutes off from work and you jump in and, uh, you know, dry off as you're rehearsing outside in the beautiful amphitheater. Um, the best community ever. Uh -huh. Like, it's such an amazing group of people who come and see the shows like nine, ten times over the course of the season. Like, I've never experienced that in any small town theater that I've ever worked in. What challenges do you run into that are unique to Prescott? That, that don't happen at other outdoor theaters. Squirrels and bunnies. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess there's nothing really specific. I think that's one of the beauties of being out here. You know, you've got that beautiful backdrop of the St. Lawrence River. You've mm -hmm. got people walking by. You've got the animals. Uh, but it adds a little bit of a charm. It adds to the experience of coming out to see the show. So I think that that's part of what the community and people who come to the shows like about it because mm -hmm. you can't get that in other places. Right. What, what challenges do you run into? Being, being outdoors, I mean, there's, there's the bug issue. There's the bug. We are doused in, like, w Jesse and I obviously have to be intimate. So he's smooching a whole lot of deet during, uh, <laughs> during the course of Romeo and Juliet. It makes my lips go numb. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many years have you been doing Shakespeare? Not just here, but in general. Uh, for me, I guess I've been working professionally for six years, mm -hmm. and I've done Shakespeare quite a bit in that time. Yeah, I'm I'm the same. Yeah, since graduating theater school. Okay, Quincy. Yeah. Uh, a little slightly more than that. <laughs> my fr my first professional Shakespeare was twenty years ago. Wow, twenty years ago. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you find yourself thinking in Shakespeare? Have you have you done it that long? I mean, it's, it's, it's it's like a second language to you. Uh, it is it is a little bit like a second language, and and I think. What's fun is the brain does sort of absorb that kind of rhythm and pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that I think necessarily in it, but at the same time, I think I'm hoping that if I ever blanked on stage, which will never happen, mm -hmm. that I'd be able to to be able to come up with something, but keep the the spirit of the poetry and the rhythm alive. I hope by this point. Um, is is Shakespeare something you want to continue doing, or or is there something else you want to try before your acting days are done? I don't think the acting days are ever done. I think you do it until you can't breathe anymore. Right. Uh, but I think I think Shakespeare is something I want to continue doing, and, and certainly keep keep it keep up at the St. Lawrence Shakespeare Festival. Mm -hmm. Full full time Shakespeare. You're you're good with that. I would do that. I'd be a very happy man if I could. Yep, me too. So some movies and TV. It doesn't matter. That's not really where you want to go with your career. You know, it'd be fun to do, and I've done some in the past. But I think that Shakespeare is kind of the passion. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I like balance, you know. Mm -hmm. I like Shakespeare a lot, but I also like doing contemporary work. I cuz I do think that uh well, for women anyway, there's a lot more um strong male characters. Mm -hmm. Like Juliet is actually the only female I'm going to start waving my feminist flag or something here, but she's the only female character that's in the title of the play. Right. So as a woman in Shakespeare, I kind of feel like uh, I like doing Shakespeare, but I also like doing the contemporary stuff. There's such great, like in television right now, they're the most amazing roles written for, for women. So I like it all. I like doing it all. Um, Quincy, has, has Shakespeare changed in 20 years? Is it, is it still the same or, or have you had to kind of make some changes to modernize it some for the audience? Um, you know, I think, well, Shakespeare is still the same. The plays are what they are, and what changes is what the artists that are working on the productions bring to it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, over the course of the years, I've seen many different productions, but it's so accessible, and particularly the way that we do it at the St. Lawrence Shakespeare Festival. Uh, you know, sometimes they're modernized. We don't change the language at all, so we're using Shakespeare's words, but we set it in a contemporary world so that mm -hmm. the audiences perhaps can relate to it in a different way than if you go and see it set in Shakespeare's time. There's a little bit more of a, of a connection to your own experiences, which is what we've been finding our audiences are, are connecting to and coming out. And as Rose said, come and see the shows multiple times. Yeah, we have Romeo and Juliet set in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. So typically with Romeo and Juliet, there are sword fights, but in our production, there are knife fights fights okay so and our and our fight guy is was incredible uh so the fights like i still gasp at quincy's death every <laughs> night because it looks 
so real. <laughs> uh, it's frightening, but it's really cool. I mean, the, the kids obviously love it, right? right. Oh, yeah. It's quite lively and current. Yeah, and he's great at dying. Oh, he died. <laughs> They're all, we all die. We, all the three of us die in the play. Don't want to give it away, but death happens a lot yeah. in that play. <laughs> All right, for, for shows, when, when are the shows? What, what days and times? We run every day except for Monday. Mm -hmm. So Tuesday through Sunday, uh, we alternate every night. So if you look on our schedule at stlawrenceshakespeare.ca, you can see which show is playing mm -hmm. that evening. Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, we have afternoon shows as well at 1 o'clock. Okay. So in addition to our evening show on those days, we also have an, a matinee. We have some really cool events. This Sunday is one of them. It's uh, Family Day. Okay. So Comedy of Errors is playing at 1 o'clock on Sunday. Kids get in for free. Uh, we have coloring books mm -hmm. and uh, photo opportunities with uh, the actors after the show. So it's a it's a family fun uh, event on mm -hmm. Sunday. Um, we also have a bring a friend night. So it's essentially a two for one okay. deal. Uh, so all of that's on our site uh, and we run until August 22nd. Okay. More info, stlawrenceshakespeare.ca. And thanks for coming in today. Thanks Thank for having you. us. 845, five seconds of summer. Yes, FM.